Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one, we are actually going to continue on with this Swedish mini series that I'm doing for you across December. And this is a brewery that are actually fairly local to me here in Lund. These guys are from Landskrona, which is maybe about 20 minutes or so away on the train. So we're going to return to Brykuset Fin. And these guys are actually alumni of my current university, Lund's Universitet. And we're going to have a taste of their winter special today, which is a of course their Christmas beer as you would have guessed and this was only released a few days before I'm actually filming this review and I've seen it described on Rate Beer as an Amber Ale so it should be quite an interesting one. The Amber Ale is a style of beer that I really quite enjoy so quite looking forward to this one. But anyway, as is usual with my beer reviews then, I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you do want to get straight to the tasting, just fast forward. All the usual website links are in the video description below. That's the brewery website, the link to my other reviews that I've done from Brikusit Fien and I will do more in the future and there's also all the usual social media things Facebook Twitter and also my untapped profile as well so do feel free to connect with me in whatever way you wish to my Swedish viewers please do let me know some other Swedish beers you'd like me to review and also I apologize if any of the Swedish pronunciations aren't quite right but anyway as I told you Brikusit Fien are based in Landskrona here in Skåne in southern Sweden it's about halfway between Lund the old university town and Helsingborg and maybe I think maybe about 20 minutes or so from either city on the train but the company was founded by two former students of Lund University and this was Peter Lindholm and Simon Frenberg and both of these guys actually studied entrepreneurship and as part of their course they had to create and plan a fictitious brewery and for this they actually decided to plant a brewery so Simon was, an ab was, a, was quite an avid home brewer and he'd brewed beer during his time in the university halls of residence and this was where they lived with their friend Joachim who was actually the guinea pig for many of their early beers and now Joachim is actually the company CEO but after finishing university they found a perfect location for their brewery in the old railway station in Landskrona so they ordered custom made equipment towards the end of 2013 and they actually produced their first beers for sale in early 2014 and now they're actually doing pretty well we're into 2015 it's soon going to be 2016 and these guys have added to their range and they seem to be doing it pretty damn well actually their beers are distributed to quite a few different places throughout Sweden now but just to list the other beers you can get from these guys in their regular range they've got the California Lager, the Brown Ale, the India Pale Ale and also the American Pale Ale and it was the American Pale Ale that I reviewed for you before that was my very first taste of one of the Brikusit Fien beers and this is one of their seasonal beers as you may have guessed not a regular one but yeah meant to be quite a nice beer anyway but this one comes in at 6.2% um, as I said, it's described on Rate Beer as being an amber ale, um, so it should be quite an interesting one. Usually their core beers on the website do have the malt and hot profiles in this one, but this one didn't actually have a profile as such on the brewery website, so I'm kind of tasting it blind, but we'll see how we get on. But it comes in at 6.2% and as I say, described as being an amber ale on RateBeer.com. So I'll just let you have a little quick look at the artwork on this one, very simple. Uh, Brikusit Fien just have very very simple things on their labels, you can see a little bit on the back just says our winter special beer um, I'm not sure really, it's just made with craft malts and yeah it's best served at around 12 degrees so this one's just a little bit colder than that I guess maybe about 9 or 10 degrees but it shouldn't make all that much difference but yeah as you can see there's the Brikusit Fien bottle cap so without further ado then we will get this guy open and hopefully it doesn't explode on me like my last review did so as you can see, not much of a smoky opening on that one, just a little bit of gas coming out but I guess the beer is probably quite fresh because it only came out, I'm filming this review on the 4th of November, it will appear maybe I think the 12th or 13th of December but this beer only came out a few days before I'm actually filming it, it came out on the 2nd of November in Sisti Embaloga. But anyway, as you can see, I can smell a nice bit of tropical fruit and kind of orangey citrus off this as I pour it actually. It smells really nice. As you can see, this beer is actually poured a really kind of dark chestnutty colour. I think chestnut or probably rosewood is a good colour to describe that. And there's a finger of a frothy beige head on this one. Looks really nice. There's some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass, but quite a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of the head. If I bring the light over lets you see it maybe does have just a little bit of a red tinge to it but it's actually yeah a little bit of a red orangey tinge a very very dark amber is maybe a good way to describe it but I would say I'd probably be tempted to say sort of rosewood chestnut colour 
very, very nice looking beer. So let's give it a smell and see if we get on the head. It's just dropping down a little bit as I'm describing it to you. You can smell those American hops in there. I'm getting a bit of foam on my nose. But you can smell, as I say, the nice American hops in this one. Very interesting aroma. There's some nice orangey citrus coming out of it. You can get a little bit of the tropical fruits coming out too. And I want to say it's mangoes. Maybe just a little hint of like um, grapefruit or no, maybe not grapefruit, maybe passion fruit. It doesn't have quite have the sourness, that the kind of sour note that you expect from grapefruit. It's more uh, a kind of nice orangey citrus that's coming off of this beer and a sort of tropical mango fruit, this one. It smells really quite nice actually. The fruit characteristics are very nice. But I think you can also get a little bit of a sort of candied or red fruit note from this beer as well. I keep doing that, I keep dipping my nose in the beer. But yeah, you can really smell just a little bit of candied fruit in there. As I always say with the beers, take a little bit of time and give them a good smell. But yeah, definitely some candied fruits in there too, but mainly a nice kind of juicy tropical mango and some nice orangey citrus there. Underneath that, you can pick up a good bit of a kind of bready character. It's quite grainy actually, so maybe a sort of rye bread, I would say. But there's a good bit of caramel in there. Yeah, a sort of grainy rye bread and caramel coming out from the malt base. But other than that, it's quite fruity and a good bit of tropical mangoes and orangey citrus, like I was saying. So, as I always say, give your beers a smell before you try them, but we'll get stuck into this guy now. So this is the winter special from Brikasit Fien in Landskrona in Skåne, southern Sweden. Skål! It's quite an interesting one, that, actually. So it's got quite a, just on first taste, it's got a good bit of hoppy and fruity juicy character to it, but then it's got a slightly darker malt base. It comes across a little bit like an IPA and then all of a sudden it just gets darker in the malt base. Yeah, that is really nice actually. Mm. So, it actually has a good bit of boozy character to the malt base and that's exactly what you want from a, a sort of winter beer. This one is 6.2%. I can't remember what the APA was that I reviewed from. I think it was maybe about 55 6 5.6, .6, maybe something like that. But this one is a little bit heavier and a bit more boozy. That's the first thing that you get from this beer. Yeah, the malt characteristic in this one is a lot more pronounced than it comes across in the aroma. So you just get a bit of a blanket across the middle of your palate there and there's a light breadiness to it, sort of slightly um, spicy and slightly dark rye bread but that, that flavour you can feel it lightly and then it sort of progresses a bit more as your, as your palate adjusts properly to the beer. As I always say, just sugar the beer around your mouth a bit and then you'll get the full um, sort of whack of flavours from this beer. But yeah, a nice, there's a nice kind of dark, quite toasted caramel flavour right in the middle of the tongue of this one. And that's just on top of that dark uh, malt base there. It's quite a dark, bready character. But as I say, the, the bread becomes a bit more sweet and a bit more kind of rye, sort of German rye bread in character as the flavour progresses. As you move into the aftertaste, a bit of a dark roasted caramel on top of it. And there might be some kind of roasted malt in there, maybe, I don't know, maybe black malts or something like that, but there is an element of a dry, dark kind of roasted bitterness and that just sits in the middle of the tongue. You can feel a little bit of dryness from the malt base in this beer. So just to continue with that, my phone went off when I was filming this one, so I actually need to edit the two parts of the video together. But as I was saying, the beer has quite a big nice dark roasted malt character in this one. It's, it's, it's just quite interesting. It comes across as quite black, but if you move into the hoppy char characteristics of the beer, you get a good bit of earthy hop character just around the back edges of your palate. It's quite a dark um, and not quite a toasted earthy character, but there's definitely an element of, uh, of bitterness to it. So just keep an eye out for those earthy characters in this beer as well. And as you move a bit further forward, the, the hoppy character just smooths out a little bit. Yeah, you get a little bit of um, 
maybe just a little even a little hint of a kind of pine resin out of this one, but it fades very quickly and it's more of a smooth and um, dark earthy character that comes a bit forward. The earthiness in the back corners, like I say, is a bit more bitter, but as you move forward in the tongue. It, there's a little bit more going on there. It's, it's really quite an interesting beer, this one. There's a lot of stuff going on in this. And the hoppy characteristics around the front of the tongue, maybe it's just a little bit grassy, I would say. But yeah, the fruity character in this one is actually quite mild, I would say. The fruity character is really nice and, and quite mild. Um, just if you feel a little bit of an oily bubble behind the very front of your tongue and there's a bit of orangey character in there maybe a little bit of mango coming out as well but it's very subtle it's more the, the earthy hop character I think and just a little teeny bit of a, a sort of almost pine raisin but it's a good bit darker than that it's the earthy hop character that dominates this beer so it's a nice earthy beer and a good little bit of that kind of dark um, almost black malty uh, character in the middle of this beer Yeah, definitely an interesting one. It's it's really, it, it's a very different winter beer from anything else I've had. It's really quite enjoyable, I have to say. So it's one that you, if you get if you come across it, you really need to give it a try and see what it's like yourself. It's very very unique in that regard. Yeah, maybe the fruity characteristics in this one, as I say. Just a mild little bit of an orangey citrus in there and some of the, just a, a little bit of mango as well. But I, I would want to say that there is a sort of candied fruit element to this one. It reminds me a little bit of the sort of Haribo, the sort of strawberry Haribo flavours you get out of this one. It reminds me of that, a sort of candied fruit flavour to this beer. But it's really, really quite an interesting winter beer. As I say, I've never tried one that's quite like this and it's that. The things that stick out to me about this one is really that kind of interesting malt base that this beer has. But in terms of the mouthfeel of this one, I would say definitely mid-bodied. There's a good bit of dry character in this one, both from the malt base. The malt base isn't that sweet. It's more of a kind of dry and slightly dark roasted malt base in this one, I would say. And if you go to the hoppy characteristics of the beer, it's earthy. At the front it's quite smooth, but then at the back, you're get at the back of the palate on the corners, you're getting a bit more of a kind of dry character from it. There's a little bit of malty sweetness. As I say, there's a bit of a roasted caramel in there that gives you just a little hint of sweetness, but mainly this beer is actually quite a dry mouthfeel, I would say. Just a little bit of kind of uh, oily flavour from the fruits as well. But overall, this is a really quite interesting winter beer. One of the more interesting ones I've tried actually over the last couple of years. So I would recommend that you have a go of it. And I'm quite interested to try the other Brukasit Finn beers as well. I think the Brown Ale will probably be the next one that I try for you. But we'll see how we get on with that. But yeah, another really interesting beer from Brukasit Finn in Landskrona in Skona. So if you do get the chance, give the, have a go of one of their beers. They are actually really quite nice. I would recommend them. And it's cool to try something that is from the pe from people who used to go to my university. So who knows how the future will progress. But I thank you for watching my beer reviews. As always, if you have tried this beer, please let me know your own thoughts on it. Always interesting to hear those. To my Swedish viewers, please let me know some other uh, Swedish beers that you'd like me to have a look at. I hope you're enjoying this kind of Swedish month of beers that I'm doing for you over December. I thank you for watching my beer reviews. Until the next one, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Follow the f social media things. Thank you for watching again, and I will catch you soon. Skål!